G'day guys, Daniel again from The Fishing Guru. Um, today we're going to show you how to tie a really simple dropper rig or, or similar to a Paternoster style rig. It's really quick, really easy, there's no knots involved essentially. You don't have to tie pieces of, of, uh, of leader or line to each other. It, it can all just be made out of the same piece. So this is really great, I'm using 40 pound today, this is really great for the snapper or dropping on the reef species. You can also scale it down to sort of 12 pound or 15 pound line. Uh, if you want to hit up the whiting or the, or the mullet or the tommies or, or whichever you like it, it's a really versatile rig. So basically, I'm going to leave my leader on the actual spool itself, right? And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tie the bottom of the rig, okay? So I'm just going to do a very basic figure eight knot, all right, or figure eight loop with quite a large loop on it. And what this essentially is going to do is allow us to add a sinker to the rig, okay? So all you need to do is tie the knot around itself, okay, just like that, and then you feed it back through the loop. And this is very basic figure eight. All right, and the reason why it's called a figure eight is because if you have a look, it kind of looks like the number eight, okay? So we'll pull that tight, all right, and then we'll cut off the tag. And there's your sinker attachment point all ready to go. Now what we want to do is we want to work sort of probably about two feet up the line or, or a good 60 centimetres or so, okay? And then you sort of bunch the line together and you create quite a large loop. Now this loop wants to be probably about a good 15 or 16, even up to 20 centimetres long. We might go about 17 or 18 centimetres there, all right? And then you, with that loop, you just create sort of a, a small loop all right, just like that. And then you get this small loop you've just created, stick your finger in there and just twist it probably three times. Now this is actually called a dropper loop knot or a dropper knot, okay? And then with that little loop that we've just twisted, we feed the original big one through again. And don't worry guys, if you didn't catch that, we're about to show you again in a second anyway. Oops, that actually didn't turn out very well. Even the fishing guru has mistakes. Alright, so I think something got caught up. So we're going to hold it there. One, two, three. Alright, and then we're going to feed it back through. Just like that. And pull it tight. Okay? It's as simple as that. Then what we do is we work up again, because we want two hooks on this particular rig. About the same, so a good 50 or 60 centimetres. Okay, create a, a good, you know, 15 to 20 centimetre loop, a smaller one again. I'm actually going to make sure to grip this one this time because I've got a feeling that it twisted out in the last one. Alright, and then one, two, three. Feed the large one through, just like that pull her tight. Okay, we need to work up a little bit further up the line and this here is where we're going to create the top of the rig, right, which is essentially where we can connect the virus snap swivel. All we need to do here is create another figure eight. So we'll just loop it around just like that. Now that there, if we were to hook it through, is called a, a thumb knot. Right, but we don't want to do that, we want to go around it and then back through again. So once again, you know that you've done it correctly if you've got a, a number 8 sitting there before you tighten it up, okay? Just like that. We'll cut off the, uh, the excess. Alright, and there's your basic dropper loop. Now to finish it off, it's really quite easy. So I'm going to put a sinker on the bottom one first. Okay, so I've got a uh, I don't even know what size this is. It looks like about a, I don't know, 50 gram snapper lead. Okay, so we just feed the loop through the eye of the snapper lead, just like that, over the lead, and then tighten it up. All right, now the reason why we use this particular knot and this particular loop is it means it's interchangeable. So if you've got very minimal current, you can put a, a smaller sinker on there. If you need to go quite deep or you need to go quite deep in a hurry or you've got a lot of current, you can put a large sinker on there, you know, four times the size, it doesn't matter. 
Now when we get to our hooks, I've just grabbed a couple of 6-0 circle hooks, alright? So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the end of the loop, okay? Just like this. I've got my 6-0 circle hook, okay? And we're just going to feed it through the top of the eye. Just like that. Feed it over the hook. And then pull it tight, okay? That's as easy as it is. So it's nice and simple, nice design, and that hook's not going anywhere. We're going to do the same with the second one. And grab the end of the loop, just like that. Feed it through the eye of the hook, through the top. Over the hook again. And then pull it tight. Now you can put beads through it as well if you want to, like Lumo beads. We've chosen not to today for the sake of the video, but that's it. That there, I'm not sure how good our, our camera is, but that there is your basic snapper rig or pattern oster type dropper rig. Really good for the reef guys, really good off the jetty. Um, tough as nails, it's not going anywhere, simple to make and uh, yeah, that's it. So thank you again for watching. Uh, look out for more clips via our YouTube channel, our Facebook page, and also strikehook.com. Cheers again.